Hi, this is Jen from Books, Bargains, Blessings, and I'm here to show you what I sold in June. June was a really good month for me. I didn't list the other, the last half of the month, but as Jay and Ryan say over at The Scavenger Life, it's a pipeline. If you feed it, you can go with some time without listing, and that really proved true in June and so far in July. Um, there was a um, church in our town for a missions work camp for two weeks and we spent a lot of time with them and I didn't get really anything done on the internet so so anyway we will start this is a crochet on the double Afghan booklet it was from my grandmother's estate and it sold for eight dollars and forty nine cents Again, this was from my grandmother's estate. It's another crochet on the double Afghan book. It sold for $8.49. Now, I do some crochet, but I've never used the crow hook, and I don't anticipate myself wanting to use it, so I thought I'd just throw these on eBay. Once again, this is from my grandmother's estate. It sold for $8.49. And another um, crochet on the double pattern, and this one is for scrap Afghans. Once again, from my grandmother's estate, I thought this was really cool, but I can never see me making it. Um, it's again a crochet on the double pattern booklet, and if you notice, these are all one Afghan. So, I thought that was really cool. VBS kits sell. Um, just to insert here, I am looking for um, 19, like about 1980 to 1985 Vacation Bible School cassettes or records from Standard Publishing. I would love to get my hands on those. Um, let me know if you find any. I went to Bible school all the time when I was growing up, and the songs are still in my head, but I've not heard them in almost 30 years. So, anyway, this is a VBS partial kit. You know, you can see that it has a lot, a lot of stuff in it. And it came in like a great big round tin, but I figured that nobody would really care about the tin, and I'd get more money for it if I didn't include the tin and just sold it because it would have gone into oversized shipping if I would have included the tin. And this sold for $59.49. And I believe I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. I'm going getting into what Jay and Ryan from The Scavenger Life call death piles, which is stuff that has been sitting around for years, and in my case, possibly even decades, that I have bought to list on eBay but never have. I think I got this at a book sale where it was fill a bag for $2. Um, it did sell on Best Offer for $15, but this is a book from 1982 by Frank Spavok about his 35 years of like revival crusades in West Virginia and I knew somebody would want this it might take a while for it to sell which it did but I think I ended up paying like two cents for this and it sold for $15 so that's a great profit increase this I sold on best offer I always look for Lenart cross stitch patterns, kits, what have you. Lenart is a good brand, and I I always look for it. This one disappointed me because it only sold for nineteen dollars. Interestingly, it sold to England. Um, one of the things about cross stitch in Europe is you can only buy kits in in like the stores I mean this one is out of print but 
you know, a lot of Europeans will look to eBay for their cross stitch because they only sell kits over there. It's a very limited selection. You know, they don't sell the floss individually. So if you're going to sell in crafting categories, do yourself a favor and open it up worldwide shipping. And this one, you know, the lady was very happy with it. I'd had it for about, about three years. And I believe I paid $1 for it. This is a beautiful paperweight. Um, it's handmade by an Arizona artist, you know, Desert Sands. And I am actually going through a lot of my, um, well, a lot of stuff in the garage. I had bought this, put it on eBay years ago, back before there was like buy it nows and stores and all that. So it was probably the late 90s that I put this on. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try this again because this is just gorgeous. And I had it on for maybe one month. And it sold for $24.99. And I believe, I, I can't remember for certain, but I think I paid like 50 cents for this. I mean, is it, didn't the artist just do a great job on this? I mean, I'm, I loved looking at it because it was just so pretty. But I can't keep everything that's just pretty. So, so it went on eBay and I took another good look at it before I packed it and... Now I have $25 out of it. This is a very small, just two and a half inches high, Amalfi Coast of Italy snow globe. I have found that snow globes do sell, especially if there are places, you know, like a generic snow globe might not do as well for me, but if there are places or, you know, something unique about them, I found they do sell. I picked this up for a quarter at a yard sale and it sold for $10. Here we go with another Vacation Bible School kit. Um, group is really the best one that you can find out there. Um, you know, there's others, but group is really, really a good one. Um, churches love the simplicity of it. And I picked this up at a thrift store for $3. This is a very different one. It is just for a weekend VBS. I did not know there was such a thing. Um, but yeah, it's for like a two or three day vacation Bible school. And, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm always on the lookout for vacation Bible school materials because they do sell and they sell well. I had this on eBay less than 24 hours before it sold at full price of $40. This is just a quick uninteresting sale. I got these for I think 40 cents on clearance and there was a lot of them so I thought well you know I'm going to try to sell these you know, being a seller within the United States, if somebody needs something like this quickly, you know, they might buy from me. And in this case, that person did. Okay, this is a very funny story. It's a Joyce Meyer four sermon CD set called Me and My Big Mouth. It was bought by somebody for a friend. So I hope the friend knew about it. If not, we have a passive-aggressive friend who bought it for somebody who has a big mouth. Um, so I just thought that was really funny. Um, this is from the CD lot of Joyce Meyer sermon CDs that I bought some time back. I believe I paid $253 for each set, and I've been selling them pretty consistently at $15 each. Okay, this is probably my surprise sale of June. My grandmother loved to quilt. This came from her estate. 
she wanted to do a quilt with Crown Royal bags. Unfortunately, I did not know that they actually sell on eBay. The plain ones that, you know, just the everyday ones will sell for about a dollar each in large lots. Um, I sold a huge box of Crown Royal bags, actually two of them, at the estate auction for $10. I could have easily gotten two or three hundred dollars from that, but it was an expensive lesson. Now I know. Anyway, this is a rare purple camo bag, and they it was like a limited edition or something. Check this out: thirty-four dollars just for a Crown Royal bag. I don't know who would pay that, but I'm glad they found my auction. And this one I did put on auction. I usually use Buy It Nows, but I just wanted to see how high this would go. I always look for family history books. They sit and sit. But when you find a buyer, they're going to pay decent money for it. This one I sold for $50. I had bought this um, at a thrift store in Ohio for $5. Again, another family history book. This one was from 1942, and I think I paid $2 for this, and it sold for 20 This is a Russian Moscow Olympics pen from 1980. You can see they're playing soccer. Russia had released a whole series of these, for the different games in that Olympiad. That is one, if you will remember in history, that the United States boycotted. I found this pen at a flea market in Budapest when I was there last year, and I paid $1 for it. It sold on best offer for 20 Just as a joke, if you remember last month, how didn't I say Christmas is selling? Um, this is a Beatrix Potter Baby's First Christmas Ornament from Hallmark. Um, you can see there is a little bit of imperfection there, but it's, it's never been displayed. It's still in the wrap. And have I not said that Australians love their Baby's First Christmas Ornaments? And you guessed it, this is going, well, this went to Australia. Now, I'm a little concerned about what's going on with the, um, with the taxes on imports in Australia. I hope that does not slow down eBay sales from Australia. I have not had one since the new tax went into effect, and I'm afraid that it will, but we'll see. I love my Australian buyers. In fact, I used to even know the postal code at the post office for Australia when they when like before you could buy international postage on eBay my post my postal guy would start looking it up I'm like oh Australia and giving the code it was just kind of funny this is a lot of 40 I don't know even how you say this game carcassonne um pieces it's the complete set of the knight, thief, farmer, monk. I don't know how to play this game. I bought this game at a Goodwill outlet. It looked like it had everything in it. It was missing one piece. So the other stuff I parted out, um, this was the last of the pieces to sell. And I, it sold on best offer for $10. I believe I paid like a dollar, dollar or two for the game, and I have made, I've made more parting out the pieces than if I would have, than like an entire game costs. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for what sold in June. I hope you have a great selling month and get your Christmas stuff listed. And Halloween, too. It's coming up. Don't wait. Have a great month selling. Bye.